Y'all seen this on the community post. I always do my little end scene conversations. Basically, it was just based off of a first date scenario. It's, it's the man. He says, are you currently dating anyone? The woman says, yes. My motto is to date them all until I'm a wife. Now, let's stop right there. How many of y'all in the chat have heard women say this on social media? I've heard it said multiple times. There was a young woman a while back when I used to watch the LaPeef show. She said, she was like, hey, I'm dating them all. You know, and she stood, what they say, stand on business. Women should date multiple men at a time to explore their options. To protect myself I tell and to tell other women that are like me, I say it's okay to date other men. Um, now, you're going to have a roster. I think it's safe to have a roster. You always going to have your favorite, you know, and that's the one that you give the most attention to and take serious while the other ones, you kind of got them on standby, kind of texting them from time to time, especially when you're like by yourself and he tripping a little bit or something, you texting your other roster of men, you know, to kind of keep you distracted. <laughs> and you know, let the, let the best man win because when your favorite team player is not playing right, you kick him to the curb and upgrade somebody else. Women say that all the time. I'm going to date them all until my wife, right? So that's why I put this in here. The man says, okay, cool. I feel the same way as he should. The woman says, what do you mean? You're dating other women? And he said, of course. I'm single until married, just like you. <laughs> the woman says, but I'm not having sex with the men that I'm dating. And the man says, right. And I'm not having sex with the women that I'm dating. We're both just dating them all, right? Fair game. And of course, the woman ends the conversation by getting pissed off. And I said, a message from your friendly neighborhood media man. Shout out to Spider-Man. Women want men to trust that they're not having sex when they say that they're dating them all. But they don't trust men to do the same. Also, women don't understand that when you tell a man that you're dating multiple men, he'll stick around long enough to have sex. Because aware men understand that there's a strong possibility that at the very least, one of those men is keeping your body count low. Until a woman replaces her designated hitter, our assumption is good enough. Which is why the new guy will never make you a wife when you say that you're dating multiple men. There's two categories, wives and other things. Women, you get to choose. Very simple. Now, after I posted this, there was a young man that said, women do that? They actually date them all? You know, they, they really date all the guys? I'm like, well, yeah, brother, this is what happens on the dating market. He didn't believe it. And I'm glad that I have this video. <laughs> and I'm even more happy that it's an older woman saying this. <laughs> hey, black man, I love you. You know I do. Oh, that was so sweet. She loves us, guys. You're so sweet. Goodness. Thank you, older lady, for saying that you love us black men. Oh, you're so sweet. Just so sweet. <laughs> Let's continue. Let's hear what you have to say. Listen. Mm. You know, women in their 40s are very honest. You know, especially when you hit like 44, like myself, I'm very honest about who I am. I'm not a 44. She 44. Here we go. A liar no more. I told you I'm a recovering hot girl. Oh, so wait, wait, wait. We almost missed that. She says she recovering hot girl. Uh oh, she was out in the streets. She may be on this freak Nick documentary that's about to come out. <laughs> Let me stop that. God forgive me. Let's continue. <laughs> um, I do want to be married one day. I do. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm still dating. So if we're just dating. Don't 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 ask me about my my sexual life because that's not your business. Oh, okay. I, every woman in their forty got somebody that know how to hit it just right. He know how to. Oh, you hear what she say? Every woman in their forties got a man that know how to, how to hit it just right. Hmm. Interesting. So, what do the men that you're dating? What are they supposed to do? Tell us, ma'am. Let's let's figure this out. 
connect for every time. So, so don't ask about him. You ain't never going to be able to compete with that. But we're not going to be together. Mm. Okay. Stop asking about people that you can't compete with. That's not your business. Focus oh. on us. Okay. I won't talk about him if you don't talk about him. And I ain't going to bring him around if you around. So be blessed. But don't ask questions you can't handle the answer to. <laughs> so she's basically saying... While I'm dating these other men, I got another that's knocking the bottom out of my thing until I get to a relationship. So there's your answer, young man in the comment section that asks, do women really do that? Do they date them all? And do they have sex with men while they're on the dating market? Oh, absolutely. And this is a 44-year-old woman who is looking to get married, mind you. This is basically exactly what I said. You never make these types of women wives. They don't understand that. They just see it as they're winning because they're sneaking around. They have this guy that they, you know, they can go on a date with the new guy. He break bread, $150, $200, nice steakhouse. And she comes back in order to keep her body count low. She just go ahead and phones on home to the designated hitter. He stops on by, knock that thing out. Stay the night. She gets up. She cooks. Hit it one more time. And he goes on about his day. You know how I know this? She had a nigga nothing quick. And she could suck a good dick. I was all up in. I've been the designated hitter multiple times. Didn't show no interest until it was time to sneak and beat. So she's not lying. So when you have a woman like this, just don't wife her up. Because we ain't going to never get married. I ain't gonna, you ain't going to never be my girl. Because I know you got issues, but that pussy good. And yes, we all do that. I know God, well, you got to up your standards. Stop. Stop just having sex with women that you don't want to marry. Bullshit. I'm going to go ahead and beat that thing down until I'm ready to settle down with my own life. Don't care. Useful to the group. You're not going to get that message from me. Protect yourselves. Get tested. And... Enjoy these women for what they're offering you on the dating market. Adapt and overcome. I don't care about any other content creators, male content creators that are saying that, hey, you need to not deal with women that you're not trying to get married to. Absolutely not. We have, we have needs too. And there are more women than not that are on the dating market saying they don't want marriage. They don't want a relationship. And I've told you guys multiple times, if it wasn't for single women, I wouldn't have had a sex life. <laughs> If it wasn't for single women, I wouldn't have had a sex life. Okay? So I'm a realist. If I see women saying I don't want marriage and they want to be single, that don't mean that they're all celibate. They're having sex. They need their needs met. Let that be you. You're that guy. Needs met, meet her needs, and beat that thing down. Skeet on the new sheets and leave. If that offends you women, then what do you need to do? change until then shut the fuck up okay all right let's move on i'm getting tired of this foolery man i hate that message you know you know you can date women especially the women who are career driven they don't want no damn relationship but they need some weenie from time to time might as well change the name to oscar meyer give her the weenie and leave i don't play that foolery Women are adults. I don't I don't do that. You know, I'm going to read between the lines and make her understand that she wants marriage. No. I don't want I don't want to get married. I want to be single cuz it's a hassle being in a relationship. Oh, really? Good. As I'm taking my pants off. Yeah. Me either. I don't want a relationship either with your ass. And I swear I hope ladies are listening cuz I want you to get offended to the point that you change. This ain't, bro, I'm a realist. I'm not, I'm not going back and forth with people. I don't care about it. I got too much shit to do. My time is valuable. It's more important than money these days. So y'all can go back with these women if you want to. And, you know, arguing them down and telling them, this is the reason why you need to get married. We know that everybody won't get married. And for the women that don't want marriage, hey, you just putting it out there. So dudes will know how to move accordingly. Focus on the women who do want to get married. But until then, beat the brakes off these women that don't want relationships because that's what they're good for. Women love breaking celibacy. Be that guy. 
I ain't got time to be playing that, that foolery, man. I, I get so man, so much anxiety when I see grown ass men arguing with women. Well, this is why you need to get married because they telling you in your effing face, I don't want it. Stop trying to spoon feed them. Like y'all trying to <laughs> convince these women. <laughs> Eric Alexander was going to say, not on the fresh new linen. Oh yeah. You know, hey, if y'all don't know these career driven single don't want relationship women. Oh, the house be immaculate. Lavender everywhere. Nice cream colored white couches overlooking balcony. And they just want to make sure that they live out all their fantasies that they wanted to do in that nice high rise that they live in. So we're going to go on that damn balcony, knock that thing on down, grab us a nice little chair, some wine, watch some Netflix, go out to eat. And we're going to come back and enjoy her nice little apartment until it's time for her to go to work and time for you to go to work because you busy too. You just dare you. What's that old, uh, I think it was a Michael Bazin book called The Maintenance Man. Let that be you. <laughs> Do some uh, some screwing and, uh, and hammering. So <laughs> fitness information, the ladies will be pissed off with the same. I don't know why. They're the ones that control this. So <laughs> no, anything that I say could be deaded if women change what they're saying, if you say that you want to get married and you're not going to have sex with a guy until you either married or in a relationship, what can a guy like me do? That's up to women. But if you sit there saying that I don't want marriage, then what else is there? You don't, you're not celibate. So you're useful to the group. Thank you. We'll enjoy you while you're out here lending your goods out to men that you don't want to marry because you think relationships are too hectic. But sex and bending backwards, you know what I'm saying? You the one doing the bending? Oh, so so you doing the bending. <laughs> <laughs> I never understood why men argue with women who say they don't want a relationship. You really think these women ain't going to be having sex? No, no. You, you use them for what they're saying. They'll tell you, I have needs, just like the woman in the video. Don't worry about him. He know how to hit the spot. Just make sure that's you. So... <laughs> Let me get logical faith in here. $20 Super Chase said, you are 100% correct. I played myself numerous times with women who clearly just wanted something casual. And my simp ass was insisting that they just needed the right guy to love them. Hanging my head and saying, we've been there, brother. So you really don't want a relationship? So what do you want out of life? You don't want to have kids? Really? You're not fulfilling your purpose. Her purpose is sex. Great. We'll use her until we, you know, find our go find our wives. So it is what it is. Of course, I went to the comment section. Let me make sure. Listen to what they say. She said, the truth, girl, we always have that one who hit it just right. He knows his place. And dinner dude should know his place too. <laughs> hey. Hey, cooking the food, guys. <laughs> That's what, he, that's what they say, right? <laughs> he should know his place. Both of them. You're right. In between. <laughs> that's my place. <laughs> hey, they ain't got no shame. Y'all got to go to the source. Don't just be listening to men assuming. They tell you. Women tell you straight up. <laughs> and the woman who did the videos, she said, I'm only here to tell the truth. And then this brother looked. Dr. Walter Sims, man, you accomplished brother. Why are you asking? Just enjoy. He said, so why not marry him? This woman says, it takes more than just connect four to make a relationship slash marriage work. See? You see what she said? <laughs> hey! You know what I'm saying? Marriage relationship? That's tough. But her getting bent over? Oh, man, we could do that all day. <laughs> it's... <laughs> They don't care. So why are y'all convincing them? <laughs> That's what she's saying. I didn't say it. <laughs> don't get mad at me. <laughs> Commitment and you know, relationship, that's too much work. You know what I'm saying? But us having sex, oh yeah, we do that all day. <laughs> Let's see here. All right, this guy, he says, so why date them? See, these are dudes. These are dudes. That's why you call the courting process. You court to see if it's compatibility. Just because you and I aren't dating doesn't mean exclusively until intentions are exchanged. 
And the woman who did the video says, thank you. So basically what she's saying, fellas, is do you until there's a commitment. So if y'all don't talk about it, then don't worry about it. Shut the F up and enjoy. It was wrong with y'all. This woman says, because you ask, you ask questions, we answer. And now you crying in the corner, rapping future lyrics to soothe yourself. Woman in the video said that part. So yeah, see, they, they laughing at y'all asses for trying to convince them otherwise and putting them into the wise categories. Keep them exactly where they are. And you don't have to tell them that. That's the beauty of this. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> you ain't got to tell them. You just, oh, you're going to date. Ha ha. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Word. That's what it is. Ha ha ha. You know, play your, play your part until she's ready to give you some of that booty. And she ain't got to know that you just put her into the other things category. It's simple. That's, you don't play your, you don't show your hand. You just move as such. And like I said, when the relationship ends, because it will eventually end, you're going to be the bad guy. It's cool because she was the bad girl before. She started it. You finished it. Now she mad. Why the hell this guy didn't convince me that he that I wanted a relationship? Why he didn't try and marry me? He only used me for sex, even though I was having sex with a guy who was, you know, that I knew for a long time. Why he didn't marry me? Answer that question for yourself, lady. Why he didn't marry you? Because you was dating this guy and you're still having sex with an old flame. I wonder why. And that's the beauty of the dating market. You play it to win. So if they, if there are women out there who say foolery like this, hey, we can play this waste of time game way better than y'all, women. I'm going to say that right now. If men could live their lives by getting frivolous booty for years, we good. Marriage is not a requirement. But for most of y'all, it is. Think about it. So if you want to waste time, hey, I want men to understand that that's what Jay hey, waste their time because that's what they're asking for. Don't convince them otherwise. And I'm dead serious about that. Until these women start understanding, well, these guys are using me because I said I didn't want a relationship. I didn't want marriage. So they'll start thinking, maybe I need to change and I need to start getting more marriage minded because I really want marriage, but I'm sitting there using it as a cope by saying that I don't want it. And these guys are listening to me. How dare them? How dare these guys listen to me say that I don't want marriage and they're not convincing me that I do? <laughs> yeah. Smarten your asses up, dummies. Don't make no sense. What does she say? Shelly who says men in these comments can't handle the truth. Fellas, listen. Connect 4 guy is temporary. He's not husband material. He's not a threat to you. Oh, really? Oh, he's not a threat. <laughs> it's just some guy that ain't got to put no work in. He getting the booty for free while this man is out there taking you on lavish dates, trying to get to you, know, get to know you and see if you're uh, a wife or not. Yeah, he's no threat. Women don't understand you can't develop a relationship with nobody if you're going back to the guy that's hitting it right. It's not going to happen. And I'm encouraging guys not to make it happen. Stop being dummies gentlemen and trying to convince them if this is what they're doing enjoy let's see here and the last one she said why are men not listening she said they not gonna be together he is there for one assignment not the whole course they are drumming it in men's head <laughs> and that that shelly woo comment what that had 1651 likes the other one that the top had 2,388 likes. Brother. <laughs> what else? What more do you want from me? What more do you want from me? <laughs> Why are you being weird to me? Why are you being weird to me? <laughs> <laughs> so to understand why they're saying this is because there were so many guys in the comment section trying to convince them otherwise are getting mad at them for having a, a, you know, a designated hitter. I'm like, brother, you can find, you know, just be on your purpose, find you a wife. But in the meantime, play that part. It's simple. And they were trying to tell the men like, hey, man, we telling you all the truth. Stop trying to change our minds. But they think 
women, and this is where there's a lot of ignorance for women on the dating market. In their minds, they think that they're going to be able to continue having sex with the designated hitter while they're getting courted by this new good man who could possibly be their husband. And in the fairy tale imagination land, delusional Delulu land that these women live in, they think that that man is going to stick around and then he's going to just up and marry you, you know, and that's going to be the cherry on the top. You've been having sex with this guy up until the y'all say your vows or walk down the aisle. Listen to what they're saying and use them for what they want, but do not commit to these types of women because they can't get, they can't let go of the past and don't give them an out. Don't save them. Yeah. So, and they're going to learn one way or the other. They're going to rack up either more bodies. They're going to rack up more time wasted. And the men that you thought that was supposed to save you at the end of the, you know, end of the day, he's going to be long gone and he's going to find his wife somewhere else. Shout out to the passport bros, by the way. So, (laughs) so yeah, use them. It's okay. They telling you to use them. The BS is real said she'll still be hitting that uh, after you wife up. Yeah, man. So, I mean, it is what it is. You figure it out. She ain't giving you enough time. She ain't letting you come over. Excuse my manners, gentlemen. Let me explain to you what happens and how you can understand if a woman has a designated hitter because majority of them do. If they're serial daters, they do have a guy that knows how to hit their sp- hit that spot. But if she don't let you come over her house after any of the dates or she she's always meeting you at the restaurant, you know what I'm saying? Because the sign of trust, and I know there's a danger element for women when they're on the dating market to where they typically don't want to go over a guy's house or they don't want a guy to come pick them up from their house because it's a you know safety issue. I understand that. But when a woman is comfortable with you, she's going to suggest, hey, why don't I just drive to your house and then we can drive to the restaurant there, which is a good sign for men because there's always a possibility that it may be too late. The woman may want to stay over. She bought a little overnight bag and y'all good. You know what I'm saying? And something may transpire. Not saying that you expect it, but something may happen. She may want some. It is what it is. Or she may invite you over her house and be like, hey, I want to cook for you. That's a good sign. Brother, if you ain't never seen the inside of this woman's house and she's always meeting you at the restaurants, just assume that there's a guy like Jay Curve uh, <laughs> waiting until you drop her off at 11 o'clock and she's going to call Jay Curve at 12 and he's going to roll out of his bed because ain't nothing like non-committal pussy. <laughs> pussy, pussy, pussy. Pussy, puss, puss, pussy. And he gonna go ahead and hit that thing. And she gonna cook for him. And you gonna text her in the morning. Good morning, queen. Did you sleep well? Oh, yeah. I sure did. (laughs) Yeah. Picture that in your head, gentlemen. And I hope that stings. Because that's what's happening. All right? So, yeah. And I don't care. And that's one thing. Do not sit around and wait for women to try and validate what you already feel and know and have learned from men with experience. Don't sit there and go on somebody's panel show, bring this conversation up and think that women are going to admit that they do this, do the things that I'm saying. They're not. It's a lot of cap on this panel. B. Taylor, if you sitting here trying to sell us on the idea that you're not busting it open, when you talking to multiple different dudes, I'm not going for it. You don't have to. I was celibate for four years. I know how to, I have, I'm so, very- Wait a minute. So you telling me that you was dating how many different dudes at the same time and what nothing, but no, none of them was busting it open? None. Did you wind up getting married as a result of it? Not yet, but I will. Just assume it. It's okay. You ain't got time to be waiting for them to hold themselves accountable. Then women don't like you on them panels. They don't respect you. Move along. Okay? Just take the information and apply it. It's cool. You don't owe that woman anything. You don't know her. Take the information. Move on. They're not going to they admit this stuff unless you go to their pages where they think men aren't listening. I'm listening. I got a shame. I can't feel nothing. 
is my 